Hi, I'm Eve Grelikus from ACG Research, and I'm here with Sally Bayman from BTI. And we have Sally on the hot seat here today. So the first question I want to ask about sort of this launch of BTI in general is, what is Intelligent Cloud Connect, Sally? Um, is it a new framework? Um, and if so, what are sort of the components that make that up? Yeah, that's a great question, Eve. So uh, Intelligent Cloud Connect really defines a whole new market category. It's an open software-defined networking platform that combines the intelligence and the efficiencies of routing and application integration with the tremendous capacity and scale of optical. And it's really been designed from the ground up to address um, the tremendous and exponential growth in traffic uh, between data centers flowing in and out of data centers as a result of the game-changing and long-term trends uh, in cloud services. And it's really been designed for both content as well as traditional service providers. And um, when we talk about traffic flowing in and out of data centers, what we're referring to is traffic going from data center to data center, user to data center, uh, but also data center to peering points and also partner networks. And um, today those networks are being built using separate layers and even separate devices such as routers, um, switches, optical gear, uh, and even application appliances. And bottom line is those separate devices really can't keep up with the demand of this tremendous growth in traffic and the bandwidth pressures uh, that that traffic is putting on the network. So another question, Sally, why hasn't anyone provided an intelligent inter-data center connect using SDN yet? Yeah, no, and that's another good question. And, and really the answer to that is, it's something that really has to be designed and architected from the ground up. Um, when you think about optical vendors today, um, they not only have to open up their existing platforms uh, to be application aware and programmable, um, but they also have to add routing, you know, layer two and a half label switch routing into those uh, platforms as well. And that's hard to do. Uh, and obviously you need the IP expertise to be able to do that. Uh, then you look at uh, routing vendors, for example, and they have a little bit of a different challenge. Um, they really need to re-architect their products to remove some of the cost and the complexities and the overhead of full layer three routing, which is certainly needed in some parts of the network, but for those transit points connecting data centers together, it's really overkill. So that's a really good point because you're absolutely right. The transport vendors in general have had a really difficult time adding say LSR or layer two and a half capability. How are you going to integrate all of this stuff and especially the LSR, what, what's making it really special for BTI? I think of this really in terms of four different um, perspectives. I mean, first of all, BTI is really a unique company. I mean, what, what's interesting about BTI is that we're large enough and experienced enough um, to be able to develop, deploy, and support large-scale networks. We have over 350 customers worldwide today. So we have you know, a tremendous capacity and knowledge base to be able to deploy those networks. But on the other hand, we're small enough and nimble enough to truly innovate. So we really are you know, rather unique, especially when compared to a lot of the other vendors out there. Um, but secondly, um, we have, and as you know, uh, have had the packet optical domain expertise for some time. Mm -hmm. And that's really been a focus of the company for the last several years. And what we've done is built a highly talented team of IP, MPLS, and applications engineering um, technical and, and R&D folks actually here in the Boston office. And um, they're all part of the same integrated organization. So both from an experience perspective and an organizational perspective, we're very well you know, positioned to be able to deliver on this. Um, thirdly, and this is sort of an interesting point, we're really at an inflection point in the market where um, companies like BTI really don't have to build it all organically. Um, there are tremendous high performance technology building blocks that are out in the market and we're quite frankly not afraid to use them. So we're not afraid to leverage uh, our supply chain partners and the innovation that they're bringing to market to really select best of breed technology building blocks. And for us that helps both in terms of time to market as well as you know, the cost of R&D.
Um, and then finally, and probably most importantly, um, we have a pretty unique perspective in terms of market insights. Uh, we have tremendous relationships with some leading providers um, who have certainly made it clear uh, what sort of they're looking for to address this specific need. And we've listened. We've listened to those customers, uh, both content and traditional service providers, and leveraged that and, and worked with them in terms of the definition, the requirements around Intelligent Cloud Connect. So when will Intelligent Cloud Connect be ready? Uh, we will be in a number of customer lab trials through Q2 of this year. And then I expect uh, general commercial availability to be in the early part of Q3. Well, it's really nice to see some of the vendors really responding to the needs that are in the marketplace and, as you said, listening to what the customers are, are saying that they need out there. Sally Bayman, I want to thank you so much for being with me today. Um, and thank you for being on the hot seat. Thank you, Eve.